Hallelujah, praises to the Almighty Lord God in heaven. Righteous persons fall in recovery. People who had lived righteously had fallen suddenly at some stage by disobeying God's word but have recovered back to God again. Let's see about this from the word of God. The Bible in brief. Adam and Eve were the only people who were communicating with God directly as written in Genesis chapter 3. 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? Their relationship with God was so high that God himself came to see them. But suddenly one day, Adam and Eve fell in sin by disobeying God's only commandment as written in Genesis chapter 3. 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Similarly, Moses was leading a massive number of people from Egypt to Israel for forty years with God's presence. But suddenly one day he disobeyed God's commandment by sudden ignorance. Moses was told to speak to the rock but he hit the rock twice as written in Numbers 20, 11. And Moses lifted up his hand and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. This doesn't mean they all lost heaven. They are now in paradise with God as Moses came to talk with Yeshua as written in Matthew chapter 17. And, behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. When a righteous person falls in sin, the person will rise again. Therefore, be not worried when you are righteous and by mistake without knowing fell in sin. Return immediately to God Yeshua and report the matter to him, even if you are punished in the world. Take it easy, as your destiny is towards the kingdom of God. Heaven, if you are living in sinful life then, accept Yeshua Messiah as your God and Savior. Leave out all your sinful activities. Confess your sin to an apostle. Get water baptism and spiritual baptism. Meditate on his holy words. Do and live as per his holy words. The Gospel. Watch and wait for his holy call. Amen.